Crashing apps on your iPhone is common. But if your apps are crashing on a regular basis or are crashing multiple times, then my friends, something is wrong with your iPhone and you need to fix it right now. Regardless of the cause, one or combination of fixes that I'm about to share in today's video will definitely help you out. So make sure you stick till the end. One of the best ways to jumpstart an app if it shuts down each time you try to open it is through closing it and then relaunching it. It will offer a fresh start to the app and if the issue had been due to caching or misconfiguration, force closing the app and relaunching it might help you in this case. An app crash may be due to various reasons. Maybe it's outdated or maybe it contains some bugs. However, installing and reinstalling the app can remove these bugs for most people. Once you uninstall the app, go to App Store and reinstall it. Then launch it to see if it crashes or not. And while you're in the App Store, just do your iPhone a favor and check for app updates. Because a mismatch of iOS version and the app's software version can also be the culprit in this case. Of course, you need an internet connection to run most of the apps on your iPhone. If not available, then sometimes apps on your iPhone can quit abruptly. So make sure to check if your mobile data or Wi-Fi is turned on and you are in a stable network. I personally use fast.com and speedtest.net to check if I am in a stable network and no, I am not being paid by any of these websites to name them. Full disclosure, this video is not sponsored. If you notice that multiple apps are crashing on your iPhone, then it is probably due to outdated iOS version. And it's obvious since some apps specifically require an updated software specs to work. But if you don't have one on your device, it might result in crashing the app. So make sure you have an updated iOS version on your device. Now that we're talking about software and iOS versions in particular, if you are on a beta software, let it be public beta or developer beta, app crashes on your iPhone can be very, very common. And while testing any beta software, you feel that your iPhone is broken, then rest assured my friend, because iOS's further updates are on their way to the rescue. But if it's really bothering you, then you can just downgrade it. And to know how, just check the link in the description below the like button. Even though the software versions might be different, but the whole procedure will remain the same. If you're facing multiple app crashes on your iPhone, then it's obvious you can't uninstall and reinstall all of them. So in addition to updating your iOS, force restarting your iPhone can also be helpful. And doing that is really, really simple. All you have to do is just press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, and then press and hold the sleep wake button and release the button when the Apple logo appears. And that is it. Do let me know in the comments down below which of these tips has helped you out. If you like what you watch and this content has been helpful to you in any way, then make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and make sure to download the iGeeks blog app from the App Store to stay updated with everything Apple. Well, this is me here signing off and I'll see you in the next one.